I am back with a Simply Simple Life video. This time I want to show you guys how I store uh, my bag and make sure to keep it shaped. This is a brand new bag. I have not even used it. I just did a video of like kind of unboxing um, overview of the bag. And so what I have in here, this is the Speedy 35. I have, I believe this is a full sheet that um, we don't really use anymore. So I just put that in there. I kind of spread it out all the way to the side so it touches the sides and then as it lifts up so that I can make sure that um, it's into like the creases of the bag, especially this one because of that shape. Um, it's reaching all the way to the sides. All right, so I just flatten that up and make sure that it's reaching all the way to its sides, the, the front, the side, and then the back. And it's pretty, pretty heavy. But it's nice when it's heavy, though, because it's really going to take up the shape. I have one of my little um, pillows for my decor that I'm not using currently. So then I just, it's nice because this one you can kind of fold in half. And then as it goes in, it expands out. So I have that. And then I put that right into the middle because then I have a gap at the bottom. And then at the, um, like the top side or bottom side, if you guys can see that then i have just a regular t-shirt i have one of my pajama shirts that i have in here and so i'll just fold that and then tuck it into the um, the inside of that just to give it a little bit more shape again pajama t-shirt and then put it into the the side so that it's nicely covered because especially over here because it is a brand new bag i want to train it uh, to have its um its shape and then i'm going to go ahead and close that see it still closes up nicely i'll be showing you guys upstairs of how i store uh, my bags and again every single one of the bags that i have in there has either a pillow the never full pillows are a great way to put it into inside an old pillow um blankets that you don't use um t-shirt so this one i actually took out those ones that was in there the insert and that was in here and then for this one i also have these kind of bubble like bubble wraps to go inside this is the speedy 35 as well the mirror even and then all i do is just fold it in half Put it in here and then insert it and then once it's in there you kind of just play around with it and make sure that it's reaching all to the side because what you're doing is actually just really making sure that it does have a great shape and then over time your leather will loosen up this one is very light compared to this one of the monogram canvas so let's go upstairs and show you guys how i store my bags uh, door. I have my little baby girl's um, achievements in there that she likes to <laughs> she likes to put up. But this is my cabinet that I had hubby uh, built for me about a week or two ago. I have the two speedy up there. I have the never full. I have the artsy. I have the favorite. That one is the graceful. I have my two favorite coach bags that I've had for years. I think that one I've had for about ten to fifteen years. This one, maybe five, five years. Those again, I think 10 years. Um, I don't think Danny was even born yet or if she was, she was a baby. So she's 12, 11, 12. So for, for a long time, those special, um, those hold a special place in my heart. Hubby gave that to me as an anniversary. Hubby surprised me with that one that I really love. These two purses right here. Um, I use it for the girls. Uh, Danielle has been using those, the brown and the black one. They're coach uh, little wristlet um, for like homecoming, dances. And then my mother-in-law had given me that um, the, the one in the front that's like um, to go around your waist. So those are never to be get rid of. They're one of my uh, favorite coach bags. And then these are my um, added... Um, Louis Vuitton love for the past year. So I've, I've got this one, these items for the past year. I still need to show you guys a video of this one, the Neverfull, and then the favorite. 
Okay, so this is how I stored them into this nice cabinet. This one is a single one. So it has the nice, perfect, I think the, the size of the shelf is nice, perfect. I'm going to put shoes onto the other two. This one is reserved for my key pole that I'm wanting to get, which isn't going to be a monogram and then the black trim. And then this is a one unit, but it's double doors. And then it's a perfect size for the two uh, speedy 35. As you guys can see, it's, it's um, nice, perfectly fit. The artsy, she's the queen, so she has her own space. And then um, the bottoms. Um, I think it's nice because then you don't have to worry about the dust going in and then also um it's keeping its shape so like this one it has a pillow like i mentioned it has a pillow inside to keep it shaped so once i'm ready to reveal or unbox it for you guys i have not used it yet it's just up here keeping its shape see i should have um added more stuffing onto the size like a small t-shirt or something but <clears throat> yeah so this one like i said i showed you guys how i do the stuffing on this one so nice but i like to have the the LV upright for that one and then and then oh my girls got me this one um I love this the, um, the kids bought me this for Christmas so then y'all picked it out and then the kids this is the kids gift for me which I love 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 so until okay. next time friends I'll be showing you guys a video of the never full that's the GM and then also the MM uh favorite into the dummy year event um canvas okay mahalo thank you for stopping by